um, it kind of just goes into my everyday mainstream drawer, if that makes sense. Songs like these and the new shit that Bullet's coming out with. It's not to say I don't like it or I don't appreciate it. It's just going into a different drawer than my favorite drawer. Because, I mean, there's only... Yes, it's pleasant to listen to. It's an everyday song, but it's nothing that's going to to get you going or really bring out a certain emotional response because the instrumentation isn't there to do that. It's more like a here's a song we can just drive to or move to or what have you. What's up you guys? Does it look like I've gotten any sun? I feel like the freckles have come out to play. Yes ma'am, I'm telling you, these things like fuck and reproduce when I go out into the sunlight. Like they just, they're just everywhere. They're just everywhere. But I've been trying to go out into the sun, spend a lot of time out there, um, because like I said, we're going to the water park and it opens at 10, it closes at 5 and they're talking about staying all freaking day. I am not trying to go and be a patient in the hospital with like second degree burns because you're more likely to get an infection in the hospital than out anyways. Did any of you know that? Anyways. So, um, I just like right before this video, there was an ad for Jurassic World Dude, that dinosaur that was chasing that little girl? Mm-mm. 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 Nope. I don't know where the fuck she was gonna go, but, uh... I'm excited. I'm so excited to see it. Anyways, so, um... Yeah, this has been really requested. Um... Architects, or... Architects UK, as this video states. Um, I think I've heard this song before, or maybe I'm thinking of the Atreyu song. But anyways, after this, I'm gonna be getting to um, a couple people's playlists, play playlists that they uh, won, deserved, whatever the case may be. And um, if you are on my Patreon and you are a fair fair and, and you haven't given me your list. I know Smitty gave me his. Brendan hasn't given me his. If you would please send me your list either on Patreon or in a message on here. That way I have your 13 songs. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this. My skin, the water is rising all around me, and there is nothing left.
there's this new scene of music coming out called this rock band thing. It's like synths, guitars, talk about something really important. I don't know. I've just noticed the pattern. No matter, <laughs> no matter what I say, I'm still going to move to it. It's still, like, it's still something that's going to make you move your fucking head, okay? Wait, I'm sorry, Trent. That's copyrighted by you. Um, it's just, oh, God, he was so smart when he did that. Move your fucking head. Like, it's just, that that's smart to have copyrighted that. However, I'm going to steal it for this right now. It will make you move your head, no matter how, like, I don't know what's going on with rock and metal nowadays. It's like we've entered this new type of genre and existing bands say they're having fun and they're experimenting with it and it's something that they want to do, but is it really? Because ever since um, That's the Spirit by Bring Me the Horizon, like there's been this whole new genre open up almost. And I say whole new genre because there's been so fucking many bands. It's like they have this EDM and this synth element. There's no solos. It's still heavy. It has a lot of weight behind it. You can move to it. It's rock. It's metal. It's your favorite band. But it lacks that certain something that I want. Now, this song was pretty guitar technical for the most part in some parts. Um, I call them diddlies. They're just really melodic riffs. It's usually sweeps or a bunch of like hammer and pulls put together. But I think they're really pleasant to listen to, um, so I call them Diddleys, for all of you who didn't know. Diddleys were present here, which got me really excited in the beginning, but then, like these songs usually go, there's not a solo. It's just an interim of electronic effects, pretty much. So I have noticed the pattern. Um, it kind of just goes into my everyday mainstream drawer, if that makes sense. Songs like these and the new shit that Bullet's coming out with. It's not to say I don't like it or I don't appreciate it. It's just going into a different drawer than my favorite drawer. Because, I mean, there's only, yes, it's pleasant to listen to. It's an everyday song, but it's nothing that's going to... To get you going or really bring out a certain emotional response because the instrumentation isn't there to do that it's more like a here's a song we can just drive to or move to or what have you but and that's just the way I personally feel about this whole new genre is that the, the, the instrumentation just isn't there to bring out an emotional response in me um, I don't know 
So now I'm going to get into some people's playlists. You can shit all over me for saying um, how I honestly feel. I really don't give a fuck anymore. I'm going to stop saying um, I wish they would have done this or I wish they would have done this. Someone told me very recently, music and your reaction channel is a very um, and honestly a great way to start with, you know, I don't want to sound crazier than I am, but it's like, I always want, I always think of like the best possible case scenario or what I would have done differently to make it sound better. And it's, but it, that crosses over into my everyday life. It crosses over into relationships and it basically ends up, um, with unrealistic expectations. And that's kind of like how my life goes. So I'm, st I'm stopping saying I would have done this or I would have done this and I'm just taking it at face value and face value it's going to go into my everyday drawer. Um, it didn't necessarily excite me but it wasn't bad to listen to either. So now you know why this channel is called Spilling the Tea. You've wound up in Underland. On to the next one.